What up team? We are doing super well right now because we are about to leave Derry in Georgia and also apologize for the wind noise because it is a little on the windy side today. But we are about to leave Derry in Georgia and head down to Sapelo Island, which is part of the Sea Island chain here in Georgia and along the southeast coast. It's a fairly uh, long series of undeveloped islands um, pre previously with Golden Geechee communities, still with Golden Geechee communities on them now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go down there, hang out with some friends, and explore a little bit. But it's been pretty fun here. The current is wicked, so it's very good that we're going with the outgoing tide, and the wind is in our favor, so we should be flying along here. But it's also a little chilly. It's like 60 right now. But I woke up and it was like 56. It's chilly this morning. Honestly, feels kind of nice. But let's go ahead and get started here, get the sail rigged up, and get on the water. One line here. Second line here. And then we will get the bow line. I got those in that order is because the bow line is the one that is the upstream upflow line that if I had gotten this one first it would have immediately started pushing the boat away but this is the one that's holding the boat in position the stern line and the spring line or not so once I do this then the boat's gonna start to go Although, not actually in this case, because uh, there's a giant bed of reed grass behind us here. <laughs> ah, that water's actually fairly comfortable. I went by the big house earlier after I got my bike. That is a like,
very substantial house. Yeah. We do have a disc golf course. The wind died down a little bit. Oh, there you go. The pros. They are super stable. Their internal stabilization is crazy. I'm out here exploring Sapelo Island, which is super, super cool. However, it is a little harder to get out here that you do have to have a sponsor to get onto the island. I fortunately had some friends that I've made uh, throughout the project that actually work out here on the island, and so they have been gracious enough to let me come explore the island with them. But this is an amazingly cool barrier island here in Georgia that right now I'm actually walking on a uh, old shell midden, a bunch of old oyster shells but we're just biking around this island that is almost completely untouched for decades. There's a small research facility out here as well as a uh, remaining Golagichi community but just look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. You know, it's kind of sad that uh, I just picked up a balloon out of the water, mind you, miles from any place that would have said balloons. And the balloon says Happy Mother's Day, which actually means that that boon balloon was probably released today, because today is Mother's Day. So I think that is also appropriate Although it's sad that I'm pulling a Mother's Day balloon out of the water, that I say thank you to my mother and all of the mothers that have allowed their children to go off on crazy adventures like this. Um, this is not the first crazy adventure I've done in my life, and so I also just have to continue to thank my mother for being an incredibly supportive parent and allowing me to chase my dreams, chase my ideas, and give me the knowledge and tools to succeed. So thanks mom, I love you.
we're at dead load right now. And there's no water. It just stops. Like, from, you probably can't see it, but it just stops. Like, there's a tiny little area in the center there. Man. It just stops. So, uh, I guess we're uh, parking here for the night. We're just gonna ride it out for the morning time. Um, so, uh, the plan that we are at right now is, as you can see behind me, is mud bank because it is incredibly low tide right now. Um, we are very much in the midst of the Georgia Bight here, so our tide swing is pretty large. And I was planning on anchoring somewhere along this creek, and um, we stopped right here because there's no more water going up this creek. I'm on a kind of like a little side spit here, but like on the main creek there, um, yeah, there's no more water. It's just mud flood all the rest of the way up. So we're gonna anchor here tonight. And I mean, like in the grand scheme of things, this is totally fine. Uh, and even better is we actually are leaving high tides at eight something tomorrow morning, which is when we'll be leaving, which is great. So we don't have to deal with this tomorrow. Um, but it definitely made for some interesting fast decisions on the uh, side here that we, we had to make some quick decisions on what we were going to do. But, you know, here we are. And we also made incredible time today because we got started early. Uh, but in five and a half hours, we went 20 and a half nautical miles. Um, so we averaged just under four knots, which I'm pretty happy with. And uh, we are now tied up here on the backside of St. Catharines Island, which is a private island uh, that I actually don't know that much about. But I know that the island's called St. Catharines, though. If you guys have somehow gotten onto St. Catharines once or know more information about St. Catharines Island, let me know down in the comments. Um, always intrigued to learn more about these coastal ecosystems and coastal ecosystems here. But I think we're gonna just set up the tent uh, and maybe read a book for a while. Just enjoy being outside.